Hello, friends. Do you love to travel and learn about new places and things? Great, then you are in the right place. Join Jasmine the cat and Gracie the tortoise as they have fun exploring the USA, the world, and beyond. Hello, friends. It's Jasmine, the jazzy gray cat, here with my bestie Gracie, the super smart tortoise. Say hi, Gracie. Greetings, my good friends. Gracie here. I'm so glad you joined us today because we are exploring Japan. I know that Japan is an island in Asia. You're very close, Jasmine. Japan is an archipelago. A what? A pelican? I thought a pelican was a bird. A pelican is a bird. An archipelago is a string of islands. Japan has four main islands. Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikuku, and Kyushu. There are also over 10,000 smaller islands. Wow! That makes more than 14,000 islands. Do people live on all of them? No, only about 400 of them have room for people. The others are just too small. Gracie, there is an emperor and an empress here. Thank goodness my tiara is packed. Yes, that is fortunate. Do you know how to say Japan in Japanese? I sure do. It is Nihon or Nippon. The flag is white with a red circle on it that is the sun because Japan is known as the land of the rising sun. Do you know why? Yes, I do. Japan got that name because from China, it looks like the sun rises from the direction of Japan. I think that's a pretty name. Japan has lots of mountains. I hope we will explore the highest one, Mount Fuji. I heard it is a volcano. Are there lots of volcanoes here, Gracie? Yes, there are. About 200, although only about 60 are active volcanoes. And we can't forget about the earthquakes. More than 1,000 earthquakes happen here every year. Yikes! Volcanoes and earthquakes? Maybe we should just go home. Jasmine, where is your sense of adventure, of fun? Back at home where it is safe. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Okay, if you say so. But why are there so many earthquakes? Earthquakes are caused when pieces of the Earth's crust, called plates, rub up against one another. Most of the time, we never feel them. But Japan is on a spot on the Earth where four of these plates meet up, so there's more of a chance of an earthquake. Now, how about we get your mind off natural disasters by exploring the capital city of Tokyo? It's the world's largest city. And I think the first thing we should do is go and cross the street. Gracie, are you kidding? We cross the street every day. I know we do, but here in the part of Tokyo called Shibayu, this is the busiest crosswalk in the world. The crosswalk is called the Scramble, and at the busiest time of day, 3,000 people cross the street all at the same time. Are you ready, Jasmine? Hold tight to my claw. When the walk light goes on, it's time to move. I'm ready, Gracie, but don't let go of me. The walk light is on. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. So many people crossing all at once. It's like a wall of people are moving all at one time. Oh, thank goodness we're across and you're still right here. That was crazy. It was an experience. Do you see that dog statue over there? It is Hachiko, a very faithful dog. Wait a minute. I have heard of Hachiko, and I have to admit, he was an okay dog. Every day, this dog would come to the train station and wait for his master to come home. But one day, his master died at work, and he didn't come. For the next ten years, until he died, Hachiko would come every day to see if his master was coming home that day. Poor guy. When he died, he was buried right next to his master. That's right. The statue is right here next to the train station and is a place to meet friends and have your picture taken. Shall I take yours, Jasmine? I think so. Hachiko was a brave and loyal dog. 
cheese. Now I want to see where the emperor lives. Oh no, we can't go inside the palace. I'm so disappointed. It is unfortunate that we can't go inside, but that's because this is the home of the emperor and his family. You wouldn't want people in our house all the time, would you? No, I would not, but at least we can go into the east garden. Oh my gracie, the trees! They're full of beautiful pink and white blossoms. I feel like I'm in an enchanted fairy garden. Aren't we lucky? We're here in the springtime during cherry blossom season. Spring is a very special time for the Japanese. It's a time of new beginnings. It's the beginning of a new school year for children and when people start new jobs. There are festivals and families visit parks and have picnics under the flowering cherry blossom trees. I can see why. I feel just like a princess under the blossoms. Not only are the flowers beautiful, but you can eat them. They are used to make a hot drink and to wrap up candies. Let's have our own picnic. Wonderful idea. I have our bento boxes right here. These boxes are divided up inside into different sections so your food stays fresh. Bento boxes? Ooh, they are so cute. Mine has Hello Kitty on it. I have sushi. Mmm, I love these little rolls. On the outside is rice, then is a thin layer of seaweed, and in the middle is fish or veggies. Yummy. I agree. The vegetable ones are my favorites. You have picked a beautiful tree to eat under. I'm going to use my chopstick to pick them up. <gasps> oh, good. I did it. Now that I am refreshed and rested, I'm ready to find Pokemon in the Akihabara district. This place is full of shops that sell video games and lots of video game and anime art painted everywhere. It's just like being in an anime movie. Anime? I don't think I'm familiar with that art. I'll fill you in. Anime is an animation art that started in Japan. It uses lots of color, has action-filled stories that are set in the future or in a fantasy place. One of my faves is Kiki's delivery service about a young witch named Kiki. Kiki and her talking cat Jilly start a delivery service using her flying ability. Kiki has exciting adventures and learns how brave she really is. You would love it. That does sound like a great movie. We'll have to watch it when we get home. This area is amazing. The buildings are so colorful with all the anime characters on them. Is that Kiki over there with her cat? Yes, it is. She looks great. How about over here, Jasmine? This is an owl cafe. We must go in. I heard you get to hold real owls. This place is a refreshing break from all the exciting colors of the anime art. It's so calm in here with the classical music playing. But it has sparkly chandeliers and all these owls. Gracie, I'm holding a striped owl and it is staring at me. Yes, it is. And I have a raptor on my arm. After we enjoy a drink, we'll put them back on their perches. The Owl Cafe was so much fun. We have time for one more spot. Where to, Gracie? I would love to explore the Sensoji Temple in the Asakusa District. To get to it, we must first go through the red Kaminani Mari Gate. Jinkies! The giant red lantern hanging from the gate is huge, almost 13 feet long. It looks just like a big paper lantern. The street is super busy with lots of shops and places to eat. Finally, we're here at the end of the street. Through this middle gate, we will see where the Sensoji Temple stands. Oh my, it is still very busy here. Not as quiet as the other Buddhist temples. I see a giant Buddha statue and a pagoda that is five stories high. I love the curvy roofs at each level. So do I. Pagodas represent the five elements, fire, air, earth, water, and wisdom, which is at the top on the spire. Wow, there was lots to see here in Tokyo. We should do owl jokes for the owl cafe. Ready? What do you call an owl with a low voice? A horse hooter? 
Nope, a growl. Very funny. What type of books do owls like to read? I know who done it. Mysteries are great books. My favorite place was sitting under the cherry blossom trees at the Emperor's Garden. How about you? I enjoyed learning about that loyal dog, Hachiko, but not crossing the street. Way too many people. How about you, friends? What was your favorite place? Don't forget to tell someone you love. That's right. And come back next time for more of Japan. Bye now. Say goodbye, Greasy. Goodbye, my dear friends. See you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining Jasmine and Gracie on their adventure today. Come back next week for the next one. Hello, everybody. It's Gwen here. If you want to know more about the places we visited, just go to our website, jasmineandgracie.podbean.com, and go to the sources page, and you can find out all about the great places that we visited. See you next week. Bye-bye.